World Golf Hall of Fame will be leaving St. Augustine after ne nearly 25 years there. On your side, Zach Wilcox is live tonight from there. And Zach, uh, I heard you got one of the last strolls on the greens. Yeah, Jeannie, I'm trying out some of these antique putters to see if this is what's been missing from my mini golf game because I just keep losing and clearly it's, it might just be me. But uh, one of my last opportunities here to try and do that because they are closing down here, moving back up to Pinehurst, North Carolina, where it all started 50 years ago. But you know, it's been in St. Augustine for 25 years here. The Hall of Fame has. There's been a lot of golf history that's been made since then and a really big impact on the golf community here in Northeast Florida. I started playing, you know, about 10 years ago, just off and on, just a hacker. As his passion for golf grows, Steve Petiri wanted to make a point to swing by the Hall of Fame just off I-95. He and his wife, Kim, finally made it on the day the USGA announced it would be closing. We hate to see it leave. Yeah, that's, we hate to see it leave. a focal point. The Hall of Fame initially opened in Pinehurst back in 1974 and moved to St. Augustine in 1998. More than 90 golfers have been inducted to the hall since the move, with many of their artifacts on display and notes about their influences on the game. I think a lot of people around here will be disappointed. Uh, in my case, I've never been to Pinehurst, so if that's where it's going, maybe I'll go down there and see it there as well. The USGA intends to relocate a lot of the artifacts to Pinehurst, which will host five U.S. Open championships after the move. The World Golf Village has not announced any plans to move the hotel, convention center, golf courses, or Caddyshack restaurant also in the village. St. John's County owns the land the hall sits on. County Council Chairman Henry Dean is sad to see it go, but sees it as an opportunity for growth. I certainly want to probably hold several planning sessions, community town hall meetings, if you will, and get input from the community, from the residents as to what their preference is. Dean isn't sure what will happen to the 35,000 square foot building, but says depending on feedback from the community, he'd like to see restaurants, shops, and recreation space fill the property. Until that happens, the Batiris can take some time to soak in the history. Oh, I was happy to see that they had a whole room for the women. I kept, as we're walking through each room, I'm, where are the women? There's just like a little smattering here or there, and I saw, and then I was pleased to see the whole. I liked the Nancy Lopez exhibit the best. You know, a lot of the employees I talked to today really weren't into golf before they got here, and so really sad to see this happening because they've really grown to love it since they've been working here. But uh, if you think you got a better putt than me, and it's... Uh, Probably not too hard to have that, but you got plenty of time to prove it because this isn't going to be closing until 2023, the end of 2023. That's when the lease is up, so it'll close down here and then move up to Pinehurst and open up in 2024. In St. Augustine, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.